So to get started with this one, I'm just going to press Shift A, go to Mesh, grab myself an Icosphere, change the subdivision to 5, and I'll right click and Shade Smooth. Then so we can see what's going on inside of it, I'm just going to hit Shift D, and then S, scale them downwards inside of them like that. Just so that we can see what's happening on the inside and that the, the transmission and the transparency is working properly then i just pointed my camera right at my sphere and up the focal length until i got a good enough view then i went over to the shading tab you can go to your rendered preview here and then check uncheck scene world and then the rotation i have to zero and the hri i'm using is the forest studio light that's already in there and then with the sphere selected you can press new i'm just going to type in water just like this then on this base color, we're going to go ahead and give us our color. I'll give you a hex value. That is a D4, F1, F9. Again, that is a D4, F1, F9, just like that. It's a, sort of a light blue. Then we're going to up the transmission to a 1, so we can start seeing through it. And by the way, you'll want to be using the Cycles Renderer. You can also use EV if you tweak some settings, but if you want to get the exact same results, make sure you're using Cycles. So now that the transmission's at a 1, we're going to take the index for refraction and switch that to what water is, which is a 1.333, just like this. Awesome. Then we're gonna come in here and take this roughness value to a zero. Now this is like perfectly clear water, which is what we want. So this transmission roughness, we're gonna bring up to a 0.325, just like that. So now we have that. So you can be finished here, but I'm just gonna add a little bit of bump or wave to the water before we go. So I'm just gonna press Shift A, search for a noise texture like this. Then make sure we have the Node Wrangler add-on checked in our preferences. So edit preferences, add-ons, search for the Node Wrangler, and check this box here. Then with this selected, we can press Control and T, which will give us this. We can move our object into the vector, and then we can Control Shift and left click the noise texture and to preview it. I'm gonna switch the detail to a 10, and then the distortion up to a one. Then I'll press Shift A, search for a bump node. Then I'll take this factor into our height, and I'll control shift and left click our shader again and plug this normal into here. Obviously this is way too strong. So we're gonna switch this strength all the way down to 0.05 just so that it gives us a little bit of wave into the water. And with that said, that is the finished material. I'll go ahead and put it on a plane in the viewport here so we can see a little bit better. So I'm gonna hit shift A, mesh, grab myself a plane, grab it, move them up, scale them here. I'll control A, apply the rotation in the scale. Then I'll search in my materials for water, like this. Then I wanna go ahead and put something under him so that we can sort of see it. So I'm gonna go ahead and I have some rocks that I've already have modeled here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and enable those real quick if I can find them. Scene options, do do do, rocks. Cool, I've got rocks under there now, like this. I'm actually gonna, I'll drag this over here, I guess. Boom, boom, we have rocks down there. And then currently I'm gonna change these materials on these rocks. To something like a rock so i'm going to give it let's go for an ore of some sort i'll just give it an emerald ore like this then i'll select the other ones and then link the materials like that then if you go to the rendered preview now you can see we have our water here and if the samples get up we can see through it better it has these nice ripples in it and we can see those emerald ore rocks under it. If you want to see what the emerald ore rocks look like, they're right here. I have a tutorial for that if you want to go check those out some other time. But anyways, that is a finished tutorial for the rock, I mean the water. And so yeah, hopefully you enjoyed and can use this and have it look nice in your renders. I'll see y'all guys in the next one.